To be a successful songwriter, you have to write songs. It's not like you want to write songs or you figured out the best way to make a living, you know? There is some kind of terrible force, and sometimes it's out of control. You have to keep writing and writing, even when there's no meaning to it. Well, you know you're not going to make any money at it. You know it's going to take up all your time, and you know nobody's going to give a damn anyway. But, you know, someday you're in the street and somebody is singing the song that you've written. You know, you want to go over to that person and say, hey, you know, I wrote that song. But they think you're some kind of nut, so you never do it. Of all the songwriters associated with the Brill Building, Doc was the most mind-boggling, the most hard even to believe. The journals he wrote over the years are full of heartbreak and anger. Less than the gimps who got around with braces and crutches. And yet, out of this, he was able to produce some of the most romantic, yearning, innocent music that is about as truthful and as deep and as beautiful as popular music can be. Loving you this magic moment. I was never one of those happy cripples who stumbled around smiling and shiny-eyed, trying to get the world to shake its head sadly in my direction. I was going to be the first heavyweight boxing champion on crutches, a one-punch knockout killer. And I was going to make love to the most beautiful, exciting women in the world. I was going to be the most extraordinary and talented and virile man that ever lived. He doesn't have all the parts working perfectly, and yet to me, he's a guy who's been over the mountaintop and reported back from the other side. Now my room has got two windows. And underneath, I was a frightened little kid, afraid that my limited physical equipment was not enough to get me any kind of a piece of the action out there. I suppose on some level, all greatness comes from pain. I think my brother had every possible thing going against him in the history of the world, from poverty to illness, to incapacitation, you could not create a worse scenario for failure. Oh, yes, Except he wasn't black. And that he did the best he could in that direction, too, so. You can dance. Nothing about the fact of his birth or his upbringing ever suggested the person that he would eventually become, the blues singer, the songwriter, the great collaborator, the champion of the downtrodden. Doc was someone who defied every limitation, and he managed to live a life that was essentially a work of art of his own creation. So darling, save the last dance for me. 